I agree with Carver High when he said before that this has been going on in every soccer game in, since the inception of uh, the game or before Christ. I mean, honestly, like, but the bottom line is this, is that every guy that uh, basically has a ball uh, stripped from his foot, uh, it would appear to me 95% of them go down and then uh, flush out some kind of fake uh, crippling injury. Like they're uh, having a... Uh, their uh, leg uh, detached. I mean, it's as though they are going into full leg removal. I mean, these guys, the the, the overacting on the flops, like the, uh, they act like they're all injured, like they're going to have their leg a amputated. It is the absolute, it's gotten to the point where I think it's funny. Every guy that gets a ball stripped from him goes down. And if there's two guys going for a ball, uh, at the same time, high speed, you can guarantee 100% of the time, automatic, that one of them's going to uh, cry. One of them's going to fall down with the fake injury and cry and complain. These guys uh, cry and complain worse than anything I've ever seen in sports. But I will say this. I still, despite all of that, find it to be the greatest sporting event I've ever seen. I mean, without a doubt, it's not even close. You cannot compare it to anything. I, you know, uh, the Olympics doesn't do it for me. I got to tell you, I think half of that Summer Olympics is just absolutely picking your nose. Uh, and, and the winner, too. Like, who in their right mind wants to watch somebody cross-country ski? And if you do, you're lying, okay? So, uh, I don't, half of that stuff I could care less about. I, I mean, literally. And, uh, but this stuff, it's like every game I'm into it. Even the worst teams, when they play, I still love it. Like I, I told you, Panama, Tunisia, it was so bad, but it was still, to me, a great game. That was a great game. Remember, it was like 2-1. to one. They went at it. They gave it everything they had because it was their last game in the World Cup. Both of them were going home, right? They both didn't advance out of the group. So I find it to be uh, intoxicating. I love the, the games. I love the, and people say, oh, what's worse than a one nothing game? You know, shut up. You have no idea what you're talking about. Just stop with all that. It's not entertaining. You're imagining things. Uh, it, it's the greatest sporting event. It has the greatest fans. Uh, in, there is no way you can compare it to anything. The size of the audience of the teams, like the entire countries, every, every single person in the world is watching. They have these crowds of millions of people in these town squares celebrating watching these outdoor uh, big screens like they do in Vegas at the Didi for every uh, Golden Knights game. Except in the World Cup, these are the uh, audiences are tenfold those, right? It's just the greatest. It really is. I was in the Caribbean uh, four years ago for the World Cup, right? I was there for the whole thing. I was there for like two weeks. And uh, the event's four weeks. But I was there for two weeks of it. Literally, every single person there that's from the Caribbean, that lives in the Caribbean, they watch every second of every game. They stop what they're doing. They don't even work. They just shut down everything to watch the World Cup. That's all you need to know, that it's the greatest sporting event on earth.